Welcome back. We are now joined by Michelle Ho. She is the Lab Professional Association and Ontario President. Michelle, thank you for your time this morning. I want to talk about the record number of tests that we've seen here in Ontario this week. Uh, from my notes, I saw roughly 62,000 tests conducted on one day this week alone. Uh, what is this like for so many lab professionals across the country? And are they strained now that we're talking numbers well above that 50K mark? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Kayla. We hit 62,000, 61,000 on another day. So I think we've hit over the 60,000 mark a few times. Um, definitely, they should be applauded. It's incredible. As you said, they are very much strange. So they were underfunded, understaffed before we entered the pandemic. So they are doing everything they can to make sure that they keep up with these targets that keep being set and the tests that keep coming into the lab right now. You know, it seems that we keep talking about the, we're pushing the envelope, Is that's what it feels like, especially when it comes to lab professionals. But again, time and time again, when you and I chat, you mentioned the fact that they are overworked. Uh, there's no doubt that they're, they're underfunded and that more professionals could be used. And so what during this pandemic has changed that you've noted as far as has there been assistance? Has there been uh, additional hires in order to help ease this load for these essential workers at this point yeah so the, the whole if you look at the process just really quickly so on the front end we have the assessment piece so that's a nurse that takes that test mm -hmm. that test then travels to the lab when you get to the lab it's most likely a lab assistant technician that will handle it make sure that it gets manually entered into the system that's one of our biggest bottlenecks and then it gets put into a machine and then the interpretation of that test is what we call a medical lab technologist so the shortage we have of people is the technologist group. So what the government's done is they've invested in the front end. So hiring more lab assistants, ensuring there are nurses at the locations for assessments. But we still have that one bottleneck, which are technologists. Unfortunately, it's not an easy fix. It's uh, a program that takes three years, specialization. There's a wait list at every program in Ontario right now. So we can't fix it immediately. So what the government's doing is they're saying, okay, what can we do on the front end? Let's hire more people on the front end. And I want to uh, follow up, as you mentioned, with that issue with the bottlenecking, because the Auditor General's report was critical of the province's information system. Can you touch on that and, you know, what that means for Ontarians? Sure. So here's a really basic analogy. We all in Ontario have a bank card. We can go to any bank across the province and take out money. Why can't we, with our health card, go to any health care center and give it to them and everything will show up? It doesn't work that way because our systems across hospitals, health care centers, labs don't all talk to each other. So if you were, let's say, in Windsor and you had to go to the emergency and you had to get some work done and blood work done, and then you traveled back home, let's say you're in Toronto and you need a follow up, none of that information actually gets transferred over. So what the Auditor General has been saying for almost 15 years now is there needs to be an information system that connects all healthcare in Ontario. We don't have that. Imagine if we did have that, how different this pandemic might look. Yeah, absolutely. You bring up a great point. And like you mentioned, 15 years, though, that this is this is not a new problem by any means. No, it's not. And it's something we keep talking about. The lab information systems, um, there are healthcare facilities that implement their own, but they don't talk to other healthcare facilities. So an example is assuming that we actually did have the perfect world. If somebody went into an assessment center, that result automatically gets loaded. And imagine if you knew your results a lot quicker, because there wouldn't be any manual entering. There wouldn't be any faxing of results. We are still faxing in 2020. Uh, Michelle, our last question before we have to run. So we saw the uh, record 62,000 tests completed in the province this past week. Do you anticipate this number to go higher? And are the facilities equipped to handle the large amount of testing being done? Yeah, so, so right now what's happening is I think we're at almost 50 testing facilities. Every week, um, that situation gets better and better. So product, which is reagents, more instruments coming into our labs. Hopefully, every week that passes, that number should get better and better. So we are optimistic for sure. All right, we have to leave it there. Michelle, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. You too.